Uh-oh. Guys, oh, guys, come on, I'm trying to start my show. Guys, no. guys, no, come on, stop! <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm starting the show. Damn it. Ugh. This show is not for kids. This show is about chaos and talking over coffee. So let's get going. Call me the dark tranny. Good morning. It's a Wednesday. How y'all doing? We're going to be starting out here with this. The first time they came for the Jews by Pastor Martin Nimola. First they came for the Jews and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for the communists and I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then they came for the trade unionists and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. And then they came for me and by then there was no one left to speak for me. Now, at this moment, I'm going to shut this window because we are picking up noise from the outside, so please forgive me. I should have done this pre-show. All right. Got a lot of crazy stuff going on today and in the world. In this area right here, we do have technicians working on the electric, and we've got dogs barking, and we've got all that stuff, so please forgive me. All right. Let us go to the chat for a moment. All right, so that's happening. Okay. What I just read to you is said to have been a plaque um, regarding the um, genocide, um, Auschwitz, Germany, all that. Now, what we currently have going on is we have the DOJ. Let's see, where did I put that one? The DOJ, uh, Tucker obtains a list of Trump allies targeted by DOJ in terrifying and unprecedented sweep of political opponents. Now, one could say, oh, does Tucker really have a list? Don't care, doesn't matter, because the reality is showing that the Department of Justice is coming after political opponents of the current um, administration. And the DOJ is coming after reporters who, and good morning, Pitbull Doorbell. The administration is currently coming after reporters, the media. As we've seen since the office of the president-elect, we saw Twitter take down, ban, a sitting president of these United States. We've seen our news suppress the information coming over the airwaves. I remember watching my local um, KMSTP, or was it KMSTP? Minneapolis, St. Paul. All right. And when Trump would speak, they would cut him off and I would, call the, I would call the TV station. I'm like, that's our president. It's like, I want to hear what he has to say. Never got a response. They kept on cutting him off. So then we had things like Gab and we have like, you know, Parler and we have um, now Truth Social. And these platforms are called terrorism platforms. And good morning, Feisty. Good morning. Yes, the regime. Yes, Pitbull. They call those alt-right terrorist platforms, these social networks. Well, let's see. You kicked us off of Twitter. You kicked us out of Facebook. You kicked us out of YouTube. You kicked us out of every place where we were doing content creation because we did not fit your narrative. Where were we supposed to go? Oh, but you weren't expecting that there were so many of us. So many of us who love our country. 
you know? Like, a German loves Germany, or an Icelander loves Iceland, or any, any number, I mean, who knows? Nationalism is not specific to the United States of America. Nationalism is wherever you have a person, say in Australia. You have an Australian who loves Australia. That's an Australian nationalist. What's wrong with nationalism? What's wrong with loving your country? What's wrong with taking care of your home? What's wrong with wanting your family to have like a better, a better experience in life than you did in your life? What's wrong with that? What is so wicked and evil about wanting to maintain your cultural norms? What's wrong with that? If your culture is like, you know, isn't that what makes us diverse? Isn't diversity our strength? And if we have cultures which stay true to their cultural roots, doesn't, does that not enrich diversity? I would think it does. But we've got some things going on. We've got the DOJ, the Department of Justice, coming after people who are Trump allies. So last night, I conducted a test. I made a video called hashtag I am a Trump ally. My door has not been kicked in. I have not been put into a van with a, a sack over my head. I was saying this in the pre-show. Um, I was talking to some pawn friends in Jitsi. And um, one of the ladies in there said, well, not yet they haven't. Well, then the test will continue. And it's not, it's not about, it's not about um, being a Trump ally. I chose that hashtag because currently that's what the media is going after, is Trump allies. It's a hot topic, okay? So I thought, hmm, being the shitlord that I am told I am, I thought, how can I stir the pot a little bit and test out some theories? So I made that hashtag. I made that video. Is it trending? I don't think so. But when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter. I could have put in there, I am a Biden ally. I could have put any number of American politicians in there and said, I'm an ally. It's not the, it's not the point that it's Trump. It's that it's anyone. What is going on that the Department of Justice is going after people? And what is going on that we have a sitting president right now making speeches about the enemy that, that MAGA, make America great again. How is it terrorism that we want to be energy independent? How is it terrorism that we want to maintain our cultural norms in this country? We don't actively practice slavery not like in other countries. Right now, there are children, I don't know how high the lithium puddles are, but we've got children scrapping through soil and, and detrius and stuff, looking for rare elements and, and, and whatever these chemicals are, which are like fucking them up. Kids! To make our batteries Right now, this is crazy. My husband, democratic, socialist, progressive, civil engineer. Right now, we've had like, like 19 kilowatts of solar put on the roof. I did not approve this project, but I'm married to the man. I made a vow. I'm sticking to my vows. 19 kilowatts of production in the summer. Nine kilowatts probably in the winter. We're having some sizable... Lithium iron, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, big ass 
big ass wall batteries and a big old like rack system and all that stuff. And that takes um that takes quite a bit of uh, lithium. Well, I'm not pleased to know that um, child labor is being used to make my batteries, even though they say they're made in America. I know. I know that that lithium didn't come from America. I know that child labor was used to make those batteries, and I said that to my husband. I just get a blank autistic stare from him because he has his core values and I have mine. And we get along, and we love each other. We're not at each other's throats. But the media, the people behind the media, and this current administration would have my husband and I fighting with each other. All right? I want to go back to a time where the cell phone didn't exist. I am, I am old. I'm over 50. I remember just the landline, and when you wanted to talk to someone, if you couldn't call them, you got out your pen, you got out your pad, your stationery, you wrote them a little letter, you folded it trifold, you put it in an envelope, you licked it, you put a stamp on it. In fact, back then, you could take like, oh, I don't know, whatever the coins, like a couple of pennies, some nickels, and some dimes, it wasn't that expensive back then. You could take a clothespin and you could pin those coins to that envelope and that USPS employee took care of you. And in a week, your message was sent. And probably a week later, you got a return message. And it was so nice to open that mail. And you would like, sometimes people would add perfume to their letters. Sometimes people would add like pictures of the family. And it was only for you. You were the only one who got to share these special moments with your, your friends. And now it's just all out there. Your personal, your personal information, which you've now made public, can be used against you. Your patriotism can be used against you. What the hell? The oligarchy. The powers that be, those who run the control room. Let me look at chat one moment. Yeah, it's a rack. Oh, you, really? Anyway, let's check Jitsi. Why am I tabbing? I don't have to tab anymore. Now I'm lost, shit. Anyway, let me go look at the Jitsi. Is anyone? Okay, that's nice to know. Thank you, Jitsi. Why in the hell is it showing me? Oh, guys, why am I such a neophyte? Settings, more, hide self view. That's technology for you. The oligarchy. Once upon a time, the oligarchy just wanted to control the land. And the production and they made monopolies, and then we had antitrust laws. Mm. The antitrust laws were there to break up monopolies, to add competition. It's a competitive world. It causes growth, ingenuity. What we have going on right now is we have people who haven't learned from history, who are currently sitting at the controls, apparently. And they're trying to unify everything. A very strange definition of unify. Because they're no longer just going after the land, the assets, the, the physical wealth. Now, we're going into the digital, the new aristocracy. Now they want to seize the virtual world as well. These people, the Green New Deal, save the planet. Stop using so much electricity. 
stop using so many resources. But buy our phone. Buy the phone. Keep the phone on you. Because we need to stay in contact with you and charge your phone. And don't ever, don't ever, ever think about the server farms, the amount of energy a server farm uses, and there are many of them, keep that in mind. Don't think about the energy used to cool those server farms. Don't think about the energy used to transmit the message. All those, all those antennas, all those cell towers. And now we have 5G. Lovely, great, speed. I can see things faster. I can get pissed off quicker. Or I can laugh at something. Who knows? Energy. While telling us to conserve, they waste and waste and waste and waste and consume and consume and consume. What is the end game? Hey, oligarchs, what do you want? I mean, really, what in the fuck do you want? I was thinking about it last night. Lying on my silk pillow because silk pillow is fabulous for the hair thinking to myself, what would I do if I was an oligarch? Well, I'd probably do what I do in gaming, in online gaming. You get to the end of the game, let's say you're a completionist, you complete every aspect of the game. Well, what do I do? I go and look for a mod pack, or I go and look for some downloadable content, or I, I look for a way to extend the story, and if I can't find anything to extend the story, I have options. I can either buck with the players, I'm bored if it's an online, like an MMORPG, I can go fuck with people, or I can fuck with the program itself, or I can simply end the game. Now, what's happening here? Are the people, the powers that be, are they to the point in the game where now they, they, they need to, again, they're like bored? Are they, is it, again, is it to the point where we need to start fucking with the players, cutting them up, burning the pieces? Or are we taking the board, are we cutting the board into new shapes and making a new game board? It doesn't seem like they're going to choose option three. It doesn't seem like they can just be content and say, okay, I'm done. It's like, let's stop fucking with people and let's just let people like, you know, live their lives independently, freely and stuff like that. No, 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 no. It doesn't, ugh, ugh. It doesn't seem so, does it? It seems like they, they, they're, they're to the point where it's like they have been given the power to do as they will by generations, or what have you. Maybe it's in the bloodline, who knows. They're clearly abusing it. They're abusive individuals, and they want us to go along with what they're saying. Oh, let's see. How many of us have been in abusive relationships? I've been in abusive relationships. I get the fuck out. In this case, though, where the fuck are we supposed to go? And then they're like, oh, these people are violent. Mm, no, not looking for a fight. Really just kind of want to be left alone, really, when it comes down to it. Don't want any more from you. If it comes at this cost, I don't want your technology. I don't want your, I don't want your processed food. I, 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 it's like, when I was younger, it's like we had grocery stores, which had very limited product on the shelf. I remember it was like oatmeal, malto meal, Cheerios. I mean, really, and like the soda section was small. It was only a part, like one section of the cold aisle. It's like everything was simpler. And then came ultra production. Now you've got whole aisles of cereal. Hardly any of it's good for you. Got whole aisles of soda. Definitely not good for you. It's like, I don't remember. I remember old Dutch potato chips, but um, they, we didn't have Doritos. We didn't have 
Funyuns. We didn't have um, all these all these crazy ass snacks and stuff like that. People, you know, by and large, and I've I've mentioned this before. If you wanted to see an obese person, you could go to Barnum and Bailey's and see them. They, it was in a freak show. They were called freaks. Being obese was a freak of nature, because hardly anyone was obese. We didn't have all this diabetes and all this like all this like shit going on. If you got cancer, it was like asbestos. Or if you had like some sort of um, mental deficiency, it's because you ate like the lead paint chips. I ate the lead paint chips. I was, you know, parents were busy. Parents were like, you know, between the farm and mama working in a paper mill and dad OTR, it's like it's like we were left alone a lot of times, especially after that babysitter went and had that orgy. It's like my mom and dad said, you kids are old enough to watch yourselves, watch yourselves. So we did. And I ate the, I ate the paint chips. So yeah, that happened. We didn't have a lot, yet we were happy. We were productive, hardworking. My sister and I learned life skills which we carried into the future. She's bringing up her kids, even though the school systems want these kids to learn about critical race theory and gender and stupid shit like, oh, skin color is like more important than anything. It's like, I, 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 feel, for, I feel for parents, I really do, because these, the systems, I wanna talk about systemic racism we're experiencing systemic racism. Racism, the current system is racist, and under the guise of unification, trying to divide us. No, no, no. You see, yes, it is. It is rules for the and Pitbull. Don't worry. You've been watching Beavis and Butthead. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I see. Because of that rat comment. Yes, 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 yes. That will happen. Let me check the time because I do not know. I didn't start my timer. Oh shit. Well, it's 8.22, so let me set a quick timer here. So let's see, if it's 8.22 and I want to give myself, let's see, so 8.38, I'm going to put 38 minutes on the clock because we have, after this show, I think 38 minutes is fine. Um, after this show, we have 451 Actual, more than just a metal show, with Big Dick Energy coming up after this. So stay tuned. I would suggest you go directly to his channel, though, because, um, why would you watch that shit through my stream? It's like, that's his, that's his baby. Go take care of his baby. You guys know to go throw 451 actual love. And I think he has new information. So, yes. Let's see. Good morning, Zartan. It's nice to see you. So, the powers that be. What do they want? I'm asking, I'm asking. It's like, people will go and say to a Christian, oh, you go and pray to a God you cannot prove. Oh, your prayers are not going to be answered. Oh, you're foolish to have faith. I don't believe that. I believe faith is what gets people through their day. When you have faith, you don't have that empty void. When you have faith, you do not want like you might have, you might have physical mortal needs, desires. You might want that new toy, stuff like that. However, when you have faith, you know you do not need that toy. Because you know it's temporary. Your parents, their parents, their parents, their parents, all the way back. Lived through the human condition. Left their legacy. We are, we are an aspect of that legacy. What do these people want? Do they want eternal life? What, do they want extended mortality? All stars die eventually. Things come to an end, oligarchy, including you. Deal with it. Grow the fuck up. We don't have to be enemies. You're not being very clear with your message. 
There are so many messages coming down from you people. Yes, you people. So many messages. And they contradict each other. Case in point. What I was talking about before. Conserve energy, but buy the new iPhone 14 or whatever the fuck it is. And then we find out from like, what, is it Steve Jobs? Oh, shit. The Colin show over here. Sorry about that. Ugh. The, um, the idea, the, the messages we get. Buy this phone, save energy, conserve, all that stuff. Green New Deal. Just the messaging. Love, equity, but division. Consider equity while looking at someone's skin color and considering your privilege or their disadvantage. What is this? DOJ coming after people because they have thoughts which they express to the public. Where's the crime? What is going on? Am I even still transmitting properly over here? I mean, really, does anyone like want to call in and like talk about this? I mean, shit. Let's like look. Gateway Pundit. Ethically unjustifiable. Now, I know that Gateway Pundit is looked at as a right-wing conservative propaganda tool. A lot like, you know, MSNBC and CNN are looked at as left-wing propaganda tools and stuff. But let's consider that John Hopkins found COVID-19 vaccines 98 times worse than the virus. University booster mandates were deemed unethical by the researchers for the following reasons. No formal risk-benefit assessment exists for this age group. This is something I said to my husband in the very beginning. He's like, why won't you take these shots? I said, they haven't been tested. My God, it's like, it's a new mRNA technology. It's like, I have no idea what that's going to do to me if I put that in my body. It's like, why the hell would I take it? He goes, well, you might die if you don't take it. I'm like, oh, shit, I might die if I do take it. It's like, what if you don't have a fear of death? Is that the problem? Is that why we're trying to like, is that not we? Is that why the oligarchs and people in the control room are trying to kill faith so that people become more compliant? Is that the problem? Is God the problem here? Or Allah, if you follow Islam, is Allah the problem? Is Yahweh the issue? Or what about, what about the people who follow things Ganesh, you know, Krishna? These people with their faiths. Is Satanism something that's going to be attacked? That seems like the only, it seems like the only religion which isn't being attacked right now is Satanism. Funny. Interesting. Hmm. The things you hear when no one's saying anything. Gee, I wonder why. Ugh. Yes, pure blood. Absolutely. Thought crimes. Ugh. As I was saying, I sent out a hashtag in a video last night. Hashtag I am a Trump ally. I'm still sitting here. I'm not asking for a movement. I am conducting a test. I want to make that clear. I am simply conducting a test. I don't care where you are in life with, with the left or the right. As I said, my husband's on the left and I consider myself on the right with a nationalist, constitutionalist view on the United States of America. I am concerned about what other countries are doing. And at the same time, my biggest concern is this country, my country. My husband and I are both honorably discharged veterans. He did not serve in any act of war during his service. I served in Desert Storm. 
both of us made a pledge to our nation to defend it against threats, both foreign and domestic. Do you see this tranny right here? I'm probably one of the most unlikely vessels for this message. We need to put aside our differences because they're coming after all of us. My husband doesn't want to believe this to be true. I try to show him the rhetoric coming out of Washington, D.C., coming out of Democratic nominees. We have a Democratic nominee right now, I do not know his name, who is currently calling for the death and, what did he say? It was along the lines of the death and ending of the extremist mega movement. What is the movement? It's a thought. And where are thoughts kept? They're kept in people's minds. So the movement by a degree of separation is people. And when we have a Democratic nominee, and it could be anyone, it could be a Republican, it could be an independent, but anytime you have a nominee running for a position of power and they want to kill a movement, history has shown us that when people kill a movement, there is a genocide. I'm not looking for a fight. If you're going to attack myself, other people, communities, where in the fuck is your head that you think that people aren't going to react to protect themselves? How, in, in what mental gymnastic does a brain have to move to, to say, I'm hitting you, I'm hitting you, I'm hitting you, I'm hitting you. And then when you strike back, <gasps> how dare you? What kind of sadistic, abusive motherfucker goes and does this to a society and expects that the society is just going to be like, okay, oh, yeah, hit me hard, you daddy. We're not all into that. We're not all kinky like that. We don't all, we don't all, we're not masochists. We don't enjoy this shit one bit. Is it, what do you, I mean, what is the end game here? These oligarchs, you've got a bunch of people who are following you. Why not just be happy with the game? Why do you want the cheat codes? What do you need the cheat codes for? What, you want us all like, yes, master, whatever you say, master. Wouldn't you rather have a society which loves you and adores what you do? Because there are so many of us right now looking at you like you're fucking crazy. And you're acting, you're acting evil. And I think you know you might be acting evil. What, what's, what, what do you gain in the end? What do you gain from being so wicked? What, what are the fruits that you hope to achieve? Hmm? What is it? What do you hope to achieve? I'd like to know. I'm asking. A civil conversation would be nice right about now. I mean, what the fuck? Ugh, I'm gonna check chat. Oh, let's see. All gamers know the initial release is full of bugs. Nah, <laughs> yeah, I get that. Okay, Joe's new hire is a Satanist. Oh, are you talking about that? Um, here, let me pull them up. Oh, let's see. HIV monkeypox. Oh, monkeypox. Secretary. Because I think he's a secretary. Where is that image? Oh, there's a bunch of... Why, why can't I pull up the... Why can't I pull up the... Um, 
the new secretary all of a sudden? Why, why is he hidden? Come on, you were just out there in that leather harness with that, with that, um, it wasn't exactly a pentagram. It wasn't the, um, it wasn't the inverted pen pentagram. It was the, um, the one with the point pointing up. But this dude had a, I mean, he's a, we, our taxpayers pay this guy. And for some reason now we know that he's some sort of leather daddy, like Satanist and stuff like that. Fuck it, I can't pull up the image. Well, here, let me try again. Ugh, God, but who needs to see this on a Wednesday? Fuck it, it's the day of woe. Let's go for it. Okay, so monkeypox, secretary, Biden. Let's see if that comes up. No. Oh, wait, what's this? Biden to point Satanist doctor. Okay, so let's point up that. So there we go. That is from Trending News Buzzer. So here we have what looks like, I don't know, Gulf Coast drummer. What the fuck with the banners and all this? Grand Marshal, Dr. Dimitri. Okay, so he's like the Grand Marshal of probably the Leather Daddy Pride Parade. Something like that. Let's look him up. Oh, God. Dr. Dimitri Daskalakskis. Fuck him. Anyway, here we go. Let's take a look. Let's see what other images we can get on this dude. There we go. There's my leather daddy. Is that showing? Yes, it's showing up. Let me get him down. Go the fuck away, sir. Ugh. Why did we need to know about your kinks? Our tax money. Our tax money. Just, you know. Can't just do their job. No, we got to know what they do in the bedroom, too. You know, no, no, why? Why, 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 why use modesty? You know, why we not? We not. It's like out there for the kids to see this is normal. This is, this, you know, you can, you can aspire to be this. It's like we used to have role models. When I was, a t when I was younger, my teen years, my young adult years, mid-adult mid years, skin color didn't matter. It was about your merit. If you were a good basketball player, people wanted to be you. Even if you weren't the same color, people wanted to be you. You were a good comedian, didn't matter your skin color, people wanted to be you. If you were a good cook, didn't matter, people wanted to be you. If you were a role model back then, people wanted to be you. Now what do people want to be? A Kardashian. Oh, fuck. A, Jer a Jersey Shore knockoff. Oh, fuck. A, a cheap imitation of a cheap imitation of a cheap imitation is what our new generation wants to be, really. You can tell. The stories that aren't original. Taking things like The Little Mermaid, for instance, and putting it in blackface, or whatever the hell. What a slap in the face to a group of people. You're so unoriginal, is what the message is. Here, take this story made by someone else and call it your own with cosmetics. Does that make you feel good? Oh, dear black people. You can't vote because you can't get an ID because you're too, I don't know, there's something wrong with you apparently, according to these people. Oh, Latino people, we need to call you Latinx even though you've never been called Latinx anywhere in the history of man. And you have a formulated language which has gender of male and female and neuter. And we need to add an X to you. White people, you're so fucking privileged. It's like all this shit. Can't question Islam, it's offensive. You can shit all over Christianity and Judaism, that's fine. Catholicism, who knows, they're so guilty, they'll... I mean, do I have any Catholics in the, do I have any Catholics in the audience like right now? If so, you'll get this joke. I'm not being serious. You know where to put the coins. You know the only way you're getting into heaven is if you drop coins. And I'm kidding. You don't have to, you don't have to give me shit. Just get the word out that we're not alone. Even people like me, a fucked up tranny can see the shit. I can see the writing on the wall. Wake the fuck up. 
It's time to wake up. I'm sorry. I know it's uncomfortable. But it's about to become a whole lot more uncomfortable. Not, this is not a call to violence. This is a call just to wake up and resist. Because we have to resist this shit. Do you really want your kids living under the iron fist of a regime? Is this what you want for your kids? Is this, is this the future you want? You know when you get older, if you're not awake yet, you know that there are commercials being run right now which are promoting, I've had, a, I've had a wonderful life. I need to make space for someone else. They're euthanasia commercials. So when you get to a certain point in your life, you can just, you know, assisted suicide. It's becoming the norm, you know. Why stick around? Do your, do, it's for the betterment. It's for the good of society and your life. Peasant. Let's go over to the, um, let's go over to the chat, shall we? Let's see what we've got going on here. <gasps> Pastor Shettler, good morning. Uh, I thought you were busy in the field. Doing God's work, Pastor? I know you are. All right, let's see. Oh, all games okay? Jeff's new hires the Satanist. When we looked that up, boy, oh, wasn't that an eye opener. All right. Thank you for your service, Dark Triangle. You know what I tell people when they say thank me to thank you for your service? I tell them, you're worth it. That's my thing. I don't know what that sounds like to the ear of another person, but I want to let people know. I served my country. I served you. And I'm not done serving. You worry about your own house instead of your neighbors. How dare you? I worry about my neighbors too. Okay, she's across the field. I keep an eye on her property too. Okay. Just so we're straight on that. I, I, you see, when you do a text, there's like no tone, so I don't understand. But um, yes, I do, I do watch my neighbors, prop, my property, especially like over the pond and stuff like that. Just make sure that, you know, everyone's okay. In fact, the other day, um, the people in Jitsi, we're talking about something, and it, it was framed as um, what would happen if there was another Nuremberg, okay? So we, we know what happens at Nuremberg trials. And, but somebody said a comment about, like, um, Michelle Obama was hung before she died. And I was outside. I had my headset on. And I, like, just belted on, like, oh, my God, you know, just, like, just yelled, oh, my God, because I was, like, I couldn't believe that somebody had said that, and it just hit me. Well, my neighbor across the field, she calls over, and she's, like, Cassandra, are you okay? And I'm, like, yeah, I'm fine. I just heard something that shook me. She's, like, okay. So, yeah, we watch out for each other. All right. Let's see. Rambo wanted to be left alone. You know, I have never seen a Rambo movie, ever. Is someone trying to knock? One moment, please. Let me go check. No, no one's knocking. Okay, let's see. Where do I want to go? Um, no, I've never seen a Rambo movie. They are mad with power. I guess that, that adage is true. Power corrupts and ultimate power corrupts ultimately or... or Whatever. You guys know the thing. Holy shit, did I just channel Biden? Fuck. Ugh. Get out of my head. Nigga spirit, get out of me. Leave me alone, nigga spirit. Get out. Leave me. Leave me. Jesus, help me. Okay. I am not taking the Lord's name in vain in that one. I think, I think my creator has a sense of humor. Why else are we going through this shit? Oh, let's see. They're mad with power. The inner one pointed up. The outer one was inverted. Oh, I didn't see the outer one. I don't want to look at him. It's like, I'm not interested in that. I don't want to see that. That's not... Why in the fuck do we have to see that shit? That's what I'm... Oh. It's like, I don't want to see that. I never... You know what? I would never show my parents what I used to get up to. Back when I used to do adult entertainment and performing and stuff like that. I would never, until my dying day, I would never put that out anywhere where my parents could see me. Holy shit. 
It's like, how depraved, how utterly depraved. And it's not even in an adult's only sight. It's like right out there, just right out there. Let's just normalize that. No, 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 enough, e fucking enough. Oh, normalizing maps and pedos. Minor attack to persons, pedos, groomers. <sighs> Not on my watch. Latino, never Latinx, whatever the fuck that is. I know, right? I mean, what, what, what? You want to take a whole language and like neuter it? I mean, gato, gato. How the fuck would you even say those words? Um, pequeño, pequeño. How the fuck would you say any of these words? Manzana, manzans. It's like my apple is neutral, my cat's neutral, my my fucking um little whatever that that adjective I just used. What you just want to neuter a whole language? Fuck you! I happen to enjoy Spanish. I happen to enjoy just the flow of it, the songs, the encantados, and such. And I I what I don't want that. I don't want that coming off sounding all. I mean, look at like like like. El hospital. And then in Germany, you know, you have Krankenhaus. It's like, which one do you want? I want the one that's more euphonic. I don't want the one that sounds like you're, you're constantly angry at me. Even though I am German and Greek. It's like, I don't, I don't want to speak German. It's, it's, a, it's kind of hard on the ear. So, stop fucking with, stop fucking with other people's cultures. Who the fuck are these people? Don't culturally appropriate. But we're going to change this culture to our liking because it's offensive. The cognitive dissonance. You don't see black people as victims. You're a racist. Really? Fuck. Anyway, on with this. The chats. Oh, Pastor Chatelet, I love that meme that you posted there. And thank you for the, I think that's a boost. Is that what that is? Thank you for the boost. I appreciate that very, very much. All right. Gray man is here, Mr. So. I think I'm saying your name right. I'm not Asian. And I, I... So. I don't know how to say your name. I'm gonna call you Mr. T. I'm gonna call you Mr. T. Mr. T. Weird, I thought I was already following. Okay, hello guys, hi TRT. Hey Lizzie. All oh, right, was a joke, made sense at the time. Pitbull, that's why I was saying, I was like, I didn't know the tone to read that in, but I took it in the best way possible. Trust and believe, I took it in the best way possible. You know the thing, right? Good morning, good morning, friends. <sighs> Pastor Chatelet, I love your community. I have found brothers and sisters in the pond, and I am, uh, I love it. These people are acquaintances. Let me explain something here. I start with everyone as an acquaintance. Friend is a term I take very seriously. And you have to go through a whole set of fucking, there are milestones from acquaintanceship to a friendship. I think I have 17 different levels until a person becomes my friend. I am so happy to be acquainted with each and every one of you. Even the ones who are pains in my ass. <laughs> I love y'all. All right. So let's see. Um, had to hit the Sticks live stream this morning. Lots of salty army in the chat. Are you talking about Sticks and Hammer? I watch his stuff every once in a while, but um, I, I don't watch him too. I used, to, I used to play him in the background while playing Final Fantasy XI on a private server. And then um, it was it was Sticks, Axe Truth, and Salty Cracker, who really got me into um, more content creation, because I was a casual content creator. It wasn't until I jumped in the pond that you guys said, you know, you should probably stream, and that's why I'm here. So thank you, thank you for the support. Good morning, we love you too. Yeah, we need to stick together. Shit's getting real. Um, I was just talking to the person working on the house today. They, I'm going to do a plug for a company 
they are more than a solar energy company. But um, if you're in the Twin Cities area or Minnesota, I am using Cedar Creek Energy. I told them I would give them a plug. One of the technicians, um, I said, now don't shut off my power between eight and nine because I have to do a stream. And he was like, well, what's the name of your stream? And I was like, kind of demure. And I was like, well, my stream is called The Dark Tranny. He was like, oh yeah? I said, yes. And I, I looked at him and I was like, and I'm a conservative. And I pointed at the garage. I said, you see those two United States flags there? That's because my husband and I are both honorably discharged veterans of the army. I said, today's topic is gonna to be about why the DOJ is coming after politicians. Why is the DOJ coming after the news? I said, what is this, this whole um, one, one world cryptocurrency that's being talked about? I said, I almost broke down crying. I was like, I have a family, I have friends, and shit's getting too real, and I'm an unlikely vessel, and vessels like me need to stand up and talk, and we need to challenge the system. Can't sit back anymore. It's like, I said, and I just almost broke down crying, because it's, this is fucking serious. And he put his hand on my shoulder and he goes, I'm a conservative too. Good. 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 So he might be, he might be, he might be coming in. I told him where to find me. I told him where to find us. So might be adding another member to the pond soon, Pastor. Let's see how much time do we have left. Oh boy, we're down to like eight minutes and 33 seconds. And let me tell you that um, what I just did, it, it didn't drain me, but I feel this like sense of peace. It's called acceptance. Rogaroo. What is this? 12 step friend program. I hope I am at least on step five. Well. You're on your way. I mean, what am I supposed to say? I mean, like, really? I mean, come on. It's like, but yeah. What step is Lizzie on? Um, I don't know. Guys. Guys. I, 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 don't, I don't know. We're acquaintances right now. That's all I can say. We're acquaintances. We'd have to have life experiences together. Friendship is a series of highs and lows. Fights. Tears, laughter, you share a meal with each other, you meet each other's families, you get to know like their friends. It's like um, friendship is a is a journey. It's not it's not a status on Facebook. It's not a like button. It's not it's not a um, it's not a social media flag. Friendship is way more, way, way more than whatever definition people are currently using as a term friend. Friendship is um, a gift. And it is, um, it is something one should not abuse. And um, quite frankly, I've come across some people um, who aren't brand new acquaintances. And I, I have one thing to say to some people out there. It's like, if you treat your new acquaintances like this, I sure as shit hate to see how you treat your friends. Because some people, I'm just going to pray for those people. I'm just going to pray for those people because they need, they need guidance. Let's see what's going on here. Um, I like the one-step program. Christ. Pastor Chatelet, I do too. I do too. Christ is a divine, is a divine um, being. That's a given. But all these created mortals and everything like that, I guess I just need, I need to take it, I need to take it in steps with people. It's like, I've been hurt too many times, I'm maybe a little bit jaded. Eh, served in a war at a young age. I have a very specific view on reality. But the one thing I do know is this, we are under attack. I feel this. 
we are under attack. It's a spiritual attack. It's a, a world attack, finance attack, commodities attack. And we're getting mixed messages from the people who want us to follow them. Our abusers, our jailers, our, our, our tormentors want us to love them and just like do as they say. Like we can't think for ourselves. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, control room. I woke up. Your spell has been broken over me, over these people. It's like, even if you think for a moment, control room, that I'm playing into the game, trust and believe when I tell you this. No, I see. I see the, mach I see the machinations. I see the machine. I see it. It's, it's falling apart. It, you can't even maintain your own fucking machine. Why would I put my why would I put myself in your care? You can't even take care of the machine that you're trying to run. It's like you've become so lazy and you've become so oh corrupted that you cannot even you cannot even keep the machine operating properly. You think people are gonna follow you when you're like starving their babies? You think people are gonna like follow you when there are like kids being used as sex toys. Do you think that people are gonna follow you when kids are like, you know, like I said, trotting around in puddles of lithium, going down into mine shafts, getting rare earth met, you know, metals and stuff like that? Do you think we're gonna follow you? No, it's like, you wanna bring society down. Oh, you wanna recreate it in your image. Oh, you want everyone to live in tubes, like, you know, these cities that are like really, really compact, like fucking habit trails or something like that. That's not what we were put on this planet to do. That's, that's, whatever, I mean, where are you gonna live? Are you people in the control room? Are you gonna live with us? Are you gonna eat the bugs? Are you going to, are you going to have a surgery and have your genitalia removed? Are you going to have your tits lopped off? Are you going to take the pills? What are you going to do? I don't think you're gonna do that. So why the fuck should I? Why the fuck should any of us? Why? Why? Talk to us. Come down off your fucking pedestals and have the conversation that, just tell us what's up. You know what? We're able to, it's not too much for us to handle. Those of us who are awake would really appreciate a little fucking honesty right about now. Just come down off your pedestal and tell us what the fuck you want without all the double speak, without all the bullshit. Show us your sauce. Show us the receipts of why you're doing this because a lot of us are intelligent enough to understand whatever the fuck it is that you think that you're doing. Just come down because what you're doing right now is you're attacking a lot of people and I'm not threatening, but you're, you're, you're absolutely positively retarded if you think for a moment there isn't going to be a reaction to what you're doing. So why not just stop fucking with us and just tell us what's up? Just come forth. It's like, otherwise, why would any of us, why would any of us go along with your bullshit? It's, it's, I'm not going, no. Now, my faith dictates that what you're doing is bullshit. The discerning spirit which surrounds me shows me your bullshit. I see your machine. And like I said, looks broken, looks busted, looks cheap, looks like it's made in China. Maybe you should um, invest in a different country. Anyway. Ooh, let's see. We've got a minute and um, 28 seconds left. I guess I'll start wrapping up. But before I do, I will go over to the chats. And I will see right here. What do we have? All right. I can't read that meme, Pastor. Oh, I have to cough. One moment. Okay, let's see. That's not true. Only friends have met my chickens. Let's try to push TRT out of a moving car. That should advance you a few. Honey, my Latina friend, um, Annie Valencia, um, over there in um, Corpus Christi. Honey, if you're listening, 
I love you. Give me a call. That woman already tried to push me out of a moving car going from Colleen to Austin, Texas. That was crazy. That That's not the first time she tried to push me out of a car either. But she was like, if you don't like it, get the fuck out. Oh, that woman taught me so many things as a young one. Oh, she has so many things. What did she say? Another one is, um, if she ever caught me lying, she would say to me, or tell Satan take your soul if you're lying. So tell me again, are you lying? And that like struck my Christian roots. I was like, oh shit. It's like she's invoking that if I go and lie, then I am saying Satan take my soul. Well, I am going to tell this woman the truth. I was compelled to tell the truth. I mean, she's Latina and Catholic. It's like, you don't, you don't deal, you don't fuck with those people. It's like, oh shit. Because they've got, they've got God on their side for sure. All right. Oh, and there's a timer. Shit. Okay, so wrapping it up. If I didn't get to all the comments, I am sorry. But um, we are, we are going to look now. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by these people, but do keep in mind that we have Rise Attire. All right, American-made, high-quality cotton clothing to get out the message. We've got um, merchandise from Pastor Chatelet. Here, I'll just type in them because I have a couple of minutes. I think. What time is it? Oh shit! His show is starting. Pastor Chatelet and 451 Actual have merch on this. I have not done enough other things to like find it. We have got to get over to um, Odyssey. So let's see. Um, 451 Actual. You know what? I'm going to have to like wrap this up because I'm over time now. So let me get over to my closing screen. God bless you all and we will see you tomorrow.